Hey everybody, I hope you're doing pretty well today. And thanks again if you caught me today on Splinterlands TV. I stream on Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. Pacific. And I gave away a couple packs. And this Wednesday night, I am the spotlighted streamer, so I'm giving away 10 Splinterlands packs. I will go ahead and have a link to Splinterlands TV in this video, even though it's going to be about the EMP project, because I know a lot of you are Splinterlands fans. And if you're in EMP, you might want to start checking out Splinterlands TV because we do do a lot of live streams with a lot of players who've been playing the game for a long time and they do give away a lot of cards and they're very, we are very at this time able to interact with our chat because the streams are only averaging about 50 to 60 people while we grow that new Splinterlands TV service. So now isn't a bad time to come check us out and talk to us. But let's get into the EMEP protocol because I needed to do a follow up on them launching the reactor now i did this video the other day it's got some okay views i think from a few people who are in the splinterlands ecosystem because it makes sense to uh, pay attention to the emp project because they are a partner why is it very important to understand that we need to build that partnership is because they have money and, and there are some very big players within the EMP system that are not in Splinterlands. And every day that they claim their rewards from their farms and from their detonators and they decide that it's time to take some money off the table, they're going to have two options. They can dump the EMP token and hurt their own protocol or they could buy more EMP tokens and bring that money into the Splinterlands ecosystem and then help their own protocol while joining a new ecosystem to earn returns over here. Now, this is, and they can, and we all know Splinterlands has many ways for those people to earn. But let's go ahead and get into the dashboard here on the EMP site. Remember that this site is got a lot going on. I've done full videos covering everything. We're going to do a more quick recap of how this is interconnected today, but let's start off with the reactor because that's the new hotness. How did it do in day one, right? How do you think a brand new DeFi protocol did in one day? Well, let's, let's scroll down and take a look. It got over a million dollars in liquidity put into it. I don't think that's pretty bad at all for a project on the Binance Smart Chain. During a time where Bitcoin went under 20,000, Ethereum has fallen under 1,500. There's fear and it is at like one of those all time highs. And what are the people in the EMP project doing? They're dumping a million dollars into the new return ROI seniorage protocol that they launched here. That is a copy of Detonator. There's two good things about this besides the fact that it gave eShares more utility and we'll talk about that as we get into it. It proved that they could re-roll out this contract with new liquidity pairs and new tokens, make it work perfectly. It came out on day one, no bugs, no problems. The lottery was working, everything was set up and good and we had no problems whatsoever from anything that I have heard in the chat or myself and I used the protocol on the first day. Now you can see I put in just under $900 and I've already earned $36 that put me up over $900. And I am expecting our compounds to be a little bit bigger for these first couple of days. And then they're gonna kind of shrink off. Now, why are they gonna be bigger for the first couple of days? Because we are going to have people taking advantage of this win it now button. Now, I don't ever get to see the button except for, when, except for once the protocol that lets all the whales that want to use it use it because they are using it immediately we are only one hour a little over one hour into the new day of the reactor and somebody else already did the win it now button and somebody did it yesterday so what is the win it now button so you see the total deposited lp if you are going to deposit i believe at least one percent of the total lp so right now you would take the one thousand Let's go ahead and get the calculator up. The 1,400, we'll round up and 61, oops, 1,461 tokens and you times that by 0.01. So if you're willing to put in at least, you know, 14 and maybe call it 15 tokens to be safe at this point, then you get an automatic doubling of your deposit and your deposited amount would show up as a 30. Now the protocol has a way to pay for that. You really would have to understand the complete protocol. I'm not going to get into all of that today and how it would work, but know that it is built to have that be something that can be used. 
But nevertheless, when those big deposits come in, if you've already got a stake, you get a nice little bump to your payout. And so we should see everybody earning a little bit more than maybe they're used to as long as people are taking advantage of that win it now button. So that's very strong to see. You see very big whales willing to make very big deposits. You see the new protocol getting over a million dollars in liquidity. And that's very, boding very well for the eShares token, whose price is holding pretty well in a very red day. Day. Sunday, we dipped under 20K for Bitcoin. We dipped under 1,500 for um, ETH. And we, we just, we need you know, to see the market start turning around, hopefully pretty soon. But there's a lot of fear in the world. There's a lot of fear in the crypto market, but still they pulled off a really good launch. So what does Reactor do new for the system? If you don't know at this point, if you watch my last video, you do. But what it does is really is it gives another use case for the eShare token. So this is a traditional kind of yielding farm when you look at the farm page, right? You can just get ETH EMP shares, you can stake them, you'll earn these E shares, you'll, that pays out at a 73.8 APR. And then you can take those E shares you earn and you now have a couple different options. Option one is to go into an E share BNB uh, pool. If you're not bringing in you know, fresh LP though, uh, fresh BNB, well then you're kind of hurting the price of eShares, you sell them down. But this isn't really like the best use case for these that was in the system before because the real main use case was in the boardroom. When the token is above peg, and right now we're 14% below peg, so we need a little run up to get back to that, you, you can stake your eShares here and <laughs> earn an absolutely amazing APR and you get paid out the EMP token. This is how new EMP token is minted into the system. The only way we get new EMP tokens coming into the system um, you are what the main way is when the boardroom and everything is above peg. Now, technically, you can get uh, them out of the detonator protocol if you claim your rewards instead of compounding, but th that we'll talk about that when we get to the detonator. So normally you could come and stake your e-shares e here, but we went off peg and the price of e-shares did start to drop because you couldn't stake them for this amazing reward. So when your tokens need to be built into the system to have a little bit more utility, the reactor comes along. And now e-shares can be paired with BNB. You can go ahead and deposit them into the reactor. The reactor works like the detonator. There's gonna be lottery prize winners. There's gonna be the ability for you to compound your deposit, for you to be earning over 365%, not in a year, but return on your total investment. That's the maximum payout. Now, it might take you a little longer than one year to earn that 365%. How much you earn in a day does vary based on what's going on in the ecosystem. I could tell you on day one of the reactor, I earned 3%. So I'm, I'm going to get to that 365 pretty quick if I earn 3% every day, but I don't expect that to continue. Eventually, all the whales that want to will get their deposits in with the win it now button or the liquidity pool will get so big that they won't want to do it anymore because that's, that's what's kind of happening with detonator now to put, to put in 1% of this pool. If you go down in here, it's $26 million. It's quite a lot more money. So if you're looking to put make a very big deposit into something, right now you have a chance to have that deposit doubled over on the reactor. And it's going to be, I think, a fight a little bit for a little while there. Now, both of these protocols work the same. They both have a timer. You have to come back daily. You have to claim or compound your tokens or you lose the earnings for that day, kind of. Your max payout, it doesn't, your, your amount earned doesn't change. Your max payout stays the same. So you basically, you've just slowed down how quick you, you're gonna get there. Uh, you know, if, if everyone in these protocols, similar to things like Drip, Piston, or Ooze that I've covered, and not the same, but similar, you should know that they are built for you, hopefully to compound uh, and have some kind of rule set. So what I'm doing for now is straight compounding, but eventually I'll reach, my, reach myself into that like claim five, I mean, uh, compound five, claim two, and I'll be using those earnings that I claim to buy Splinterlands assets. That's my current plan with this protocol. Now, eventually if this, you know, months and months or years down the line, if EMP continues to grow, if they do all the things that they said that they plan to do, and they continue to build in additional revenue streams, well, then maybe all of a sudden, um, I'll have to take some of those profits and start to 
pay off other things in my life. But at this point, I want to build up my deposit amount, build up how much I'm claiming, hopefully get to the point where I'm earning a lottery ticket or two in each farm every single day from claims. And then, you know, when I earn extra funds in Splinterlands or I sell a, a card for a whole lot of money, if there's not something in Splinterlands I want to put back into it, well, then I can go ahead and take that money out and put it into the EMP project knowing that, hey, it's going to help me reach my goal to be have this kind of farming system to be able to put money back into Splinterlands. So we'll, we'll see how all this works for me. You guys will go on the story with me, but hopefully it does. Now, you have to understand when you use a protocol like this and you're doing the, the same kind of thing, a claim, a claim, a compound five and a claim two, or a compound and a claim, compound and a claim, people have different strategies for how they're going to do these types of things that you could be doing what you want with your liquidity. The reason why I like the idea of putting them into Splinterlands assets is because because I want more Splinterlands assets for when land comes out and because when you sell your EMP to get credits within the Splinterlands ecosystem to buy their their items well at that point Splinterlands doesn't dump those tokens onto the market they have a special deal with EMP that's how their partnership works so that we don't see the EMP token hurt by my actions and that'll make me, I think, one of the better players in the ecosystem supporting the price. And if we can get more people doing that, then maybe we won't fall off of peg quite as much. It's an outlet for your tokens that doesn't require you to hurt the price, but it does require you to be willing to put them into the Splinterlands ecosystem. Now, we've talked, uh, you know, I think uh, one of these things here that you'll notice, I'll just show you guys one little thing. When you hit compound, you're going to see this big old estimated gas fee, right? Because the site is suggesting a max fee of 0.01 BNB. And that might freak you out, right? And you're going to reject it. And you're going to be like, I'm not going to pay that much gas. That's not how much gas it costs to do the transactions. The thing is, there is a little bit of a, a gamemanship here on waiting to compound within the last hour or the last 30 minutes or 15 minutes or even the last minute because there is this largest depositor game that is played on both of the detonator and reactor and some large deposits might come in in that last minute they call snipering to try to snipe this and if you don't hit the compound button after the snipe transactions come in well then you won't end up getting the rewards on that day for those deposits, the instant rewards that work out in the system, because you, you, they'll show up after you hit your compound and you're not going to recompound. So that's the reason why they suggest that you put a maximum amount of that gas so that your transaction will go through very quickly. Still, when I did my transaction with about two minutes to go today, without Binance being very busy, it used 0.007 gas, 21 cents worth, and I was able to compound up my $2 and put it uh, into here. Now, obviously, spending 20 cents to deposit $2 is not spectacular, but at least I'm profitable on my compounds, and I'll continue to do those compounds of around two, two to three dollars, depending on you know where I'm at. That it looks like you know right there. That I, I got over this two dollars today when I did my compound. I actually did it live on video, but I forgot to hit the record button. So call me a noob. <laughs> but now, now we do have. Both of these ecosystems working side by side. Now the reactor, because it's new and it's lower and LPs are cheaper, you can actually get a little bit more bang for your buck on the deposits over here. And I did start out with a bigger amount on here because I'm not jumping into a liquidity pool with a 20 money. I, th I thought this one would be kind of interesting. On the flip side though, I'm doing it on riskier tokens, right? The e-shares, uh, the e-share is a more risky token. It could drop in price quite a bit if people are not really trying to, to you know, grow their liquidity and holding of that token because while well, as the longer we stay under the peg the more chance it's going to have to go down and then when we get above peg and you can get over a thousand apr the more chance it's going to rock it up so we're going to have some interesting movement in the price of the e-share token um, but hopefully the reactor who creates kind of a locked liquidity almost for it uh, it will 
you know, give some people some more reasons to hold them and not dump them when they have them. Because if you were staking them and they were earning you a high APY and then that APY ended, you might have just decided to sell them and go back into debt and eater or just take profits or who knows what people would have decided to do. But certainly the decisions that were made by the community did knock us under peg. Now, when you're under peg, there's a couple different things that are going to help us get back to peg. Now, one of them is the company earning their own sources of revenue. They have a YouTube channel. It's monetized. They don't get a lot of views yet, so I know they're not making that much money because I my YouTube channel doesn't make me that much money. But hey, revenue is revenue. They also are now going to start offering Detonator as a service. They've been talking about this in their AMAs. They proved that they can roll it out by rolling out the reactor to their site. They proved that they can make it work with the Lottos, with the Win It Now buttons, with all the gamification that they've perfected and worked on over the last couple months of running this project. And now they can offer that to other projects. And the cool thing about Detonator is it's built to build liquidity token pairing. So it's, it's not the same thing as any of the other kind of farms that I've seen before because they all focus on you staking that, you know, th that the ROI projects. Like on Drip, you just stake Drip. And on Ooze, you, you mint NFTs, but you mint them with Ooze. And with, um, you know, this kind of looks like it's the site, that, like they decided to focus theirs on what, is the drip reservoir that not a lot of people get into well that's the main thing that nader and reactor are is they're building up liquidity so that there is a very big liquidity pool for the tokens and we do get a good return on them but it's a delayed gratification as we'll get them later on now besides just the fact that they are start going to hopefully start getting other customers to give them more revenue streams for the team to be able to help support the you know the e-share price they also announced that they would start farm taking some of these lp tokens that we deposit and using a small percentage of them to farm e-share tokens and use those to support the price of emp now a lot of people worry that that's going to hurt the price of e-shares and that that's a legitimate concern and the team is going to have to balance out that to not hopefully ruin the price of their token and still support the price of their other token. This is a balancing act they'll have to play. But internally, as a community, there are a lot of things that we can do to help go ahead and get the EMP token back up near pegs. Now, one of these routes is nodes. Now, if you go ahead and decide to buy a node today, the nano node would only cost you $155. I was looking at this node the other day in my video, and this token, I believe it was around $180. You, if the one that was, I think, let's see, a kilo node, takes a minute for these to load, so I'll just wait a sec. That's down to $620. Now, what these would let you do, it would only is you buy your EMP tokens, you go ahead and stake them, and you can see you earn a max payout of 400%. You, it would take you 216 days to get back the 2,000 tokens that you put in. Remember, you're just going to get back your 2,000 tokens. If the price hasn't recovered or is lower than 31 cents in the, for some reason, be, remember, these are pegged to Ethereum, and as Ethereum keeps dropping, these will drop too, because the idea is to have them pegged to Ethereum. Um, but And then after the 216 days, you'll start earning more tokens. But because you're buying 2,000 tokens off of the marketplace and staking them into a node, which effectively burns them and then starts to give them back slowly, if enough people do that, that'll push up the price of the token. What else do they have? They have bonding. Now you can see I have um, bonded um, around um, $400 worth of tokens, I think. Um, but I cannot redeem my bond because you can only only do this when you are above peg. So I went ahead and I purchased a e-bond um, and I have it. So I have this redeem button, but it's grayed out and I can't use it. See, I have 223 e-bond in my wallet. So at some point I will be able to, and you can see they, they do have a certain amount that are purchasable because you can only buy e-bonds when they are below peg. But so you could buy up some EMP and you could turn it in for E bonds and then it will give you this over here and that helps push you back near peg. And then when you 
eventually get over peg, you can go ahead and wait. And the longer you wait, the more tokens you will get in a return. But this is all also the longer you've been holding your bonds, the more that you're going to get on your return for putting them here. I wanted to try this out, which is why I purchased a bond. But honestly, I'm going to be playing more in the farms and detonators and reactors in the next couple of months to try to get those to a level that I'm more comfortable with. The other thing that they do did do and had a pretty successful launch with was they did the ETH staking. But I I, I went over this and I and I told them they I found out that basically. Um, because so many people were worried about the ETH merge and, and some other things, a lot of people just claimed their ETH and paid the emergency withdrawal. Oh, oops, I don't need to. Let me reject that. Don't need to waste any BNB. I don't have any money in here, but, but there is a penalty for taking it out. And they went ahead and took the penalty, maybe because they saw this down market coming out and they just wanted to sell. So that was kind of hopefully a quick ish look. Let's see. Yeah, we're at 20 minutes. That's not too bad, right? At, at this overall ecosystem and how it works, you've got the farms that create tokens that can go into the reactor now. And then you have the detonator system, which gives you an ability to play a high ROI return game with the LP tokens of their token. And then you have the idea that the EMP token is supposed to be a stable coin pegged to Ethereum. And it, when it's at its peg, it turns on a whole bunch more ways for us to get additional money. I have to admit, I could look into purchasing my first node because it is an interesting time to buy a node when we are under peg, because even though um, that max payout is 400%, it's 400% of the tokens. So you might be able to get more than a 400% return on a node if the token does go back to peg, because then when you're getting paid those tokens, they'll be worth a higher value. All right, everybody, thank you for hanging out for me today. Again, I'm pretty impressed by the team and the reactor rollout. You can see that, <laughs> you know, they're, they're, it's just going to keep climbing. This total deposited LP, people are just going to keep on adding to it every day. And it's going to be pretty exciting to see how they can continue to hopefully grow both of these uh, protocols, grow both of these liquidity pools, and how some people can really hopefully help themselves out by being involved in this. And at the same time, kind of hopefully help the project recover back to PEG so that all of the different functionality on the site turns back on. But really, I think we're going to need that uptick in the market. Uh, as long as everything is going down, it's going to be hard. But, you know, they say when people are feel fearful, it's the time to be trying to get into these projects. All right, everybody. Thank you. Have a good day. And hopefully, if you enjoy my content, you think about subscribing and, you know, checking out the other stuff I'm into. I tend to think I look into projects that have a good chance of succeeding. And if I am doing that and you agree, then it's nice for you to go ahead and check out all the videos I'm making. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye.